65% of all internet users are victims of cybercrime at some point in their life. Cybercrime is now so lucrative it's a bigger earner than drug trafficking. By sending out some 43 million links to fake antivirus software each year, cyber pirates gain access to our security codes. Information about an individual's identity can be deciphered in just three seconds. They're then able to create false passports or driving licenses, which could earn them up to $22,000 a month. A credit card number can be purchased for just $2. For more than $700, it's possible to buy access to an account with a balance of more than $82,000. So-called distributed denial-of-service attacks sent out by hackers groups like Anonymous bombard websites with requests until they're unable to cope and fall offline. Hiring such a service carried out on computers from a distance can cost as little as $15. On January the 20th, 2012, US officials shut down internet file sharing site MegaUpload.com. In response, Anonymous, aided by some 5,600 supporters, briefly knocked the FBI and American Justice Department websites offline, as well as the French presidency website. When sophisticated networks of hackers are involved, the fight against cyber attacks is not easy particularly when differences in national legislations mean international cyber pirates can often slip through the net.